Coming live from the command center of the JW Solar USA. Guys, finally, 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 it took forever, ever to have this temperature uh, sensing uh, uh, tape. Look, I bought about three rolls of them. Not that cheap, but I gotta do what I gotta do. So, this is the only thing. The good thing is I've done it. The second good thing is these badges are not even bulge at all. Guys, I'm telling you this for real. I've seen those 280 amps lithium ion phosphate, the, the, the 308s or 305s, the 150. People have a lot of problems with them. To be honest with you, a lot of problems. But I don't have anything to complain about these uh, batteries from battery hookup. Lithium ion phosphate and... Um, the LEP is uh, 3.2, 25 amp hours. Some people might say it's too, the amps are too low. But what I'm gonna, what I did, and what I've already explained on the video, so they are all tied in eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So eight modules is 25 times eight is 200 amps. So. Is the same as what you 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 paying for or what? Sorry, no paying for what you get at um, AliExpress or whatever, which they are just bigger. So one of their cells is gonna be two of these modules here, but that's not the case, and they're thick, almost almost uh, thickness of these two is one because of the amp hours, but that doesn't matter. What matters is, is um, people are having so much trouble with the batteries, they swell up. They're bulging. These batteries are brand new. You see, they're all biting all the way to the brim. See, they're all locked tight. So I got to tighten them up. I don't want them to bulge. I don't want them to expand. And they are not bulge, bulged yet, but they are all in good shape so I already taped them put them together and this is how I'm gonna wire them all in parallel all the way all negatives or positives positive negatives and I'm gonna do this and I started doing the interconnect jumpers from this come like jumpers to that jumper to this so to build a 48 volt or 12 volt pack I can I can do that so if it's a 3.2 let's take it three six nine twelve so let's add the two the volts on it now if we decided to go just on the standard one so two four six eight three six nine twelve twelve so twelve point eight if that's what you want to keep it that way but they have it can go up to about uh the three point four five which is going to be which is a three point six five is the um max charging but I'm probably going to charge them into the, the 3.45 or 3.35 or whatever it is. So I can get it because I don't want to charge them to the brim. If I want to, I can charge them to top. Top balance them, but um, interesting. Now I saw a plus sign on top of this and negative. Okay. I didn't notice that before. See, there's a negative, there's a positive on top here. And not all of them has that either. I think just this one here. This cell. Huh. Interesting. But anyway, um, guys, and this is the pack. It's all done. And I, I'm going to have 112 batteries. So this is uh, a 40, a 32. I got another one I'm going to do for 40. Okay, eight of them are here. So it's going to give me 40 batteries. So I want to have to have a 48 of these batteries to give me uh, the 48 voltage, the, the 50 something, 57 point something, or almost 58 to 60. Very close. I can do that. So I decided to cut the tip right here and put it right here to lock this one in case when I'm flipping, I can see the batteries about. Uh, popping up but now it's not happening anymore seal that I would have bought the little one the half inch to go through here 
but I wasn't thinking it's gonna be a problem like that till now I've already wrapped this thing really good and look at that all shrink wrap here goes the bottom it's all tied up so uh, I wrapped the um, the sides first and when I was gonna lift up the battery they started sliding out so I have to flip it upside down which is here so that the, the, the bolt the yeah the bolt sticks out facing the, 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 the floor and I try to tape the back here so they can reverse anymore if the battery the reverse they're gonna the glue is gonna cut up on the bottom here so it's kind of a little bit tricky because the batteries are really slick they're sliding out really quick if you forget they will just slide so I don't want any of the things see all they are locked you can see there's no gap at all they all seal look at that all the way locked and I feel more comfortable and this pack I can build stuff like this I can go 40 40 40 so I need about a hundred and I need a hundred and twelve so 56 56 of them yeah I think 56 of them I can able to do 56 times 2 that gives you about the 112 so I need 56 packs total 56 on the battery so I think it's a 248 volt in uh, 48 volt series and parallel something like that I think I did the math so I'm trying to uh, I don't it's kind of uh, complicated a little bit but I think I need I know I need about 112 so 56 for 48 volt then I can parallel two of them the voltage I want to run if I want to keep this for 48 volt but I'm trying to build a 48 volt uh, battery bank or I can able to do anything I want to do because if I keep them on the 32s like this I can able to run a 24 volts if I want to so this entire pack is at about 24 volts right here 3 6 9 12 so 3.2 so this is a 12 volt battery that's I think that's what I was trying to say 40 40 40 so it's gonna be 40 80 and whatever so I'm gonna build my um, 12 or something 12 or something uh, if I decided to go about 48 I think about 48 okay 40 I was thinking about buying two because they sell them on 24 modules and a box it comes in a box so 224 is a 48 so 224 48 plus 16 that's the calculation I was trying to explain to you guys so 16 is gonna be the extra so uh, uh, it's gonna be really hard for me to work on shrinking all these if I put 56 on them so I have to do 56 cells 56 cells for 48 volts 56 cells of this one for 48 volt and 56 again so I have to 56 56 gives me the 112 sorry for the long explanation uh, I was kind of struggle with it a little bit but I already processed it for um, a, quite a while ago and I decided just not even review my notes and making this video but um, guys this is what it is like and subscribe JW Super USA thanks for watching live from Minnesota stay tuned I have the other extra ones that are still sitting here I'm gonna build exactly another one like this two boxes I'm going to order then that will give me um, 24, 24, that's going to another 48 volts. But I'm going to try to do probably like this, 30, 32 of this, 32 of this. I can able to add another one here easily for the 40. But that's going to throw 3, 6, 9, 12. You see, that's how it's going to go. But it's easy to sandwich them together if I'm done with them. I can just sandwich them and put a tape right round or maybe throw them in a box however I want them and continue with the series connection. But if I try to put the entire thing, 100 and something, that's going to be too much. Heavy.